Sixth grade, module five, lesson one, classwork. Opening exercise, name each shape. So this is just a little review from previous grades about what each of these shapes, their official names are called. So here we have something with three sides. So this is called a triangle, but more specifically, it has a right angle in it, a 90 degree angle. So it is called a right triangle. Here we have something that has four sides and it has two sets of parallel sides. So it is a parallelogram. Next we have a triangle, it has three sides. And it also has three acute angles. So this is an acute triangle. And down here we have something that has two pairs of parallel sides, two pairs of parallel sides, and it has four right angles, which makes it a rectangle. And lastly, we have something that has at least one pair of parallel sides. So this is a trapezoid and four sides, which makes it a trapezoid. Okay, so now we're gonna work on finding the area of parallelograms. So to find the area of a parallelogram, what we're gonna do is use a formula. So I want you to notice, if I cut this parallelogram right here, and if I were to move this piece over here, I would have, my new shape would be a rectangle, right? So I just end up with a rectangle. So to find the area of any parallelogram, all we have to do is use the same equation that we use for finding the area of a rectangle. So to find the area of a parallelogram, we just need to do base times height is area. So the base here is 6. And now here's where we have to be careful. The height here is not 5 because that is going at an angle. We need to go straight from here to the top. So it needs to be vertical. So the height here is actually 4. So 6 times 4 would be equal to 24 centimeters squared. So the area of this rectangle is 24, or sorry, the area of that parallelogram is 24 centimeters squared. Okay, so the next one, we have another parallelogram, and the length, so again, if I took this piece right here, so cut that off and moved it over here, that will give us a rectangle. So we're going to do base times height is area. So here the base is 25 meters. The height is 8 meters. So 25 times 8 would be equal to 200 meters squared. Okay, the next one. So same thing. If I cut this piece off, I can move it over here. which gives me, you can see the rectangle. So now base times height is equal to area. The base is 12. The height is seven. Careful, don't use the 11 and a half. So 12 times seven is equal to 84. And then our unit is feet squared. Number two, draw and label the height of each parallelogram. Use the correct mathematical tool to measure in inches. So we're measuring in inches, so you're gonna need a ruler, the base and height, and calculate the area of each parallelogram. Okay, so remember, the area is equal to base times height. So we need to find the base and we need to find the height. So here, the base, you're going to get out your ruler. 
So when I measure it with my ruler, the base is two inches. And the height, remember we're measuring the height, exactly vertical. So when I measure it, that is half an inch. So we're gonna do two times one half, or half an inch, and half of two would be equal to one. So we have one inch squared as the area. B, so again, we're gonna do base times height. So here, the base, when I measure, is one and a half inches, and the height from the base all the way to the top is two inches. So let's do one and a half inches times two. That would be two groups of one and a half. One and a half plus one and a half would be three inches squared. So the area of that is three inches squared. All right, C. So we measure the base. So the base here is one inch. Now it's kind of tricky to find the height here. So we're gonna have to extend this out. So the base goes all the way out there and here's the top. So then this part right here is the height of that parallelogram. So if we measure that, that is also one inch. So we have one inch by one inch would be equal to one inch squared. So the area of that is one inch squared. And number three, if the area of a parallelogram is 35 40 seconds centimeters squared and the height is 1 7 centimeter, write an equation that relates the height, base, and area of the parallelogram. Solve the equation. So we know that the area, so base times height equals the area. So the area is 35, 40 seconds. And the height, we don't know the base, but we know that the height is 1 seventh. So what we can do, is we have an equation. 1 seventh times the base is equal to 35, 40 seconds. So we can reverse 1 seventh times b by multiplying by 7, so that'll get b by itself, and then we can do 37 40 seconds times 7, so we get b is equal to, let's do 37, sorry, it's not 37, it's 35, let me fix this here. So let's do 35, 40 seconds times seven. I'm gonna make seven over one. So 35 times seven would be equal to, five times seven is 35, carry the three. Seven times three is 21, plus three would be 24. So we get 245, 40 seconds. And that's a rather large fraction, so I'm going to make that into a mixed number. That's an improper fraction, I want a mixed number. So I do that by dividing. So I'm gonna do 245 divided by 42. So 42 can't go into two or 24, but it can probably go into, let's see, 42 is kinda close to 40, and 40 times 6 would be 240, which we have 245, but I have 42, so let's try 5, I'm going to try 5, because I think 6 will be too big, so 2 times 5 is 10, carry the 1, 5 times 4 is 20, plus 1 is 21, so 210, another one would be too big, so it goes in 5 times, we get 210, and 35, 40 seconds. So there's 35 left over, nothing to bring down. And we make this into a fraction by, this is the numerator, this is the denominator. So we get five and 35, 40 
seconds. But can we reduce this? Let's see. 35 and 42 both have 7 in common. So let's divide by 7 over 7. And we will get 35 divided by 7 is 5. 42 divided by 7 is 6. So our final answer is going to be 5 and 5 sixths centimeters squared. And had we just reduced in the beginning and made this into 5 sixths, there would have been a lot less math to do at the end. But again, there's many different ways to solve one problem and get to the same answer. And one more correction, we had already found the area, so it's just centimeters, because this is the, we were searching for the base. So that's the length of the base, 